coach said, uh, I was asking about kind of like the mental aspect of losing two in a row. And he said, he doesn't really talk to you guys about wins or losses, just how you're playing. Is that, is that helpful? Like, you know, maybe he was maybe harder on you after maybe the SC win than some of the losses. But does that, does that approach help you guys just kind of focus on what you need to focus on and not really, you know, wins or losses? Um, yeah, I'd say so. You know, we have a great coach and, um, we believe in, you know, everything that he says, you know, after we, like you said, we drop a game. We don't really talk about losing. We just talk about how we can get better from that game. And um, I'd say coaches really put a lot of focus on our game this Thursday. And so um, it's a short tournament. We got a game on Thursday against Washington. And, um, you know, that's all we're worried about right now. What do you feel like the team needs to work on kind of tar areas targeting for improvement right now? Uh, I feel like I've just been harboring on the same thing. We just got to play 40 minutes of good basketball. Uh, you know, in the USC game, we had a good first half. And then, you know, we dropped, fell off in the second half. So it's really just putting together 40 minutes of, you know, good defense, a little ball and offense. Just playing the right way. You, you've been going against Washington's own for four years now. What, when you guys are playing well against it, what's kind of the key to attacking that zone? Uh, just not over dribbling and a lot of ball movement and, uh, yeah, that's what I'd say. Just a lot of ball book. Who's kind of like it? Sorry, the the best. You know, usually you have a guy in the center. It was Chris Smith a few years ago. Who, who's the best at that role uh, against us all going to the center? You mean like the high post? Yeah. Um, we got a lot of guys that can go in there and hit shots, but uh, um, probably you know Jaime or Jay Clark, Amari, Dave, any of those guys. Probably the great number. How how'd you think Amari looked uh, in his first game back, and what does he bring coming back to you guys? Well, in the, um, I think he looked solid. You know, granted, it's his first game back in about a month or over a month. I don't know his exact timeline. But, uh, you know, every day in practice, he's looking a lot better and better. And um, I think he'll be ready for Thursday and Saturday. And, uh, yeah, I mean, to me in that game, it's his first game back, so he can't really weigh a lot on it. So uh, I just know he's going to get into his flow, and uh, you know he's a great player, so he's going to figure it out. I know there's a lot of focus on like physical fatigue at this time of year, but how much mental fatigue is there after going through three months of pretty considerable game plans, getting ready for all these teams? How much mental fatigue is there as a player? Well, there's some, um, but you know this is like what we do. Uh, we we came here to you know hopefully be a great team and great basketball players. So all of that, those things come with their mental fatigue, physical fatigue. But, um, you know, it's hard playing teams, especially in conference, when they know exactly what you're going to do every game. So that's all I'd say is uh, just come in as prepared as we can. And, you know, when things aren't going exactly how we want them to go, just being ready to, uh, you know, do the next stake that will help us with it. What makes uh, Jalen so good at coming up with steals? He's leading the Pac-12 right now. What makes him so good at that? Well, he goes for a lot of them and uh, gets them. So <laughs> I just say he has a good, um, you know, knack for defense and uh, knowing where the ball is going to be at in place. And, you know, he has he has exceptionally long arms, I feel like. And, you know, his, his head is always in the play. And so I just say it's instincts a lot. So Does he, does he ever guard you at practice? Uh, yeah, when we're on different teams. How What's it like going up against him? Well, he's a, he's a great defender, so it's pretty hard. Uh, but, you know, going against anybody on this team is pretty hard. Coach talked about, um, as I was asking him, like, you know, do you talk to the guys about kind of mindset after two losses to make sure you're in a good place? And he says he doesn't really talk to you guys about wins or losses. It's more about how you're playing. Uh -huh. Is that approach helpful? I mean, like, for instance, he seemed pretty upset after the win over SC, maybe even more so than some of the uh, – you know, losses along the way this year. Um, is that, how does that approach kind of help you guys just focus on what's important? Um, I think that approach is important uh, because we don't get, like you said, lost in the wins and losses. Like we don't get high, too high. We don't get too low. We kind of just stay at a steady pace. Uh, like you said, he, he was very upset about the USC game and we won that game. And I mean, you know, he was, you know, rightfully so unhappy about the USC loss. Uh, yeah, we, we just, like you said, we just try to look at it as, the way we play the game and how we're playing rather than the outcome of the sport. How's your kind of mental outlook right now? You've been through similar stretches before. I think last year you guys lost those same two games at Arizona at SC. What's the key to bouncing back and, and, and have, put together another run? I'm just staying focused and understanding we've still got a lot of season left. There's no reason to um, 
get panicked or get worried about anything that's going on. We know how to play. We know what we need to do to win. And as long as we remember that and implement that into our offensive defense, I think we're going to be just fine. How have you guys used a week off uh, since the last game? I mean, obviously some practice, but recharging mentally and all? Yeah, I think recharging mentally, physically, just doing what we can to put our bodies and minds in the best position possible. Uh, you know, coming into this week, I think we did. it was good to get some rest and just decompress from, I guess, that long stretch of games that we had just back-to-back. So to come back and um, just really to be able to settle down for a couple of days, I think was very beneficial to myself and the rest of the team. Did you guys get the weekend off, basically, or? Yeah, we came in on Saturday. We did uh, we just did shooting and, and skill work, pretty much nothing really physically demanding. Just just working on our shot and trying to put the ball in the basket. What's the key to getting this offense back on track? Um, I know obviously uh, taking care of the ball, generating more steals, lead to the offense. But when you're in the half court, uh, what do you guys need to do better with in the half court offense? Uh, well, I think uh, we've been talking. I think it's just being able to penetrate on the catch rather than waiting a second to make a decision. I think be more decisive with our decision-making on whether you're going to pass, drive, or shoot it. Um, And when you get the ball, know what you're going to do with it rather than just hold it. And I think that's one of the things we've been working on is just like knowing what you're going to do with the ball when you get it. Jalen Clark leads Pac-12 in steals. How often does he go up head-to-head with you in practice? Uh, Pretty much every day. Um, I think there there was a little stretch where uh, we had, it was the starters versus the non starters, and now we're back to like mixing up the teams a little bit. But usually, me and him are on opposite sides of the team, and I, I think that we, you know, we we try our best to make each other better. Um, I'd guard him; he guards me, and uh, I think that's a really good give and take there, and uh, we we get each other better. It seems like you know the two primary ways to go with the steal are either kind of poke the ball away or anticipate a pass. Uh, better one than the other, man. Um, I think his anticipation on. Uh, when they're trying to pass the ball to his man or try to skip it is, is incredible. I mean, I think that it's well known in practice. Like if you want to give a dribble handoff, you don't go to his side, try to get it off. So he's kind of like a quarterback in that sense. Um, and then when it's on the opposite side, he's very good at helping and trying to read skip passes and things like that. He came in here with the rip jersey. He said he had lots of rip jerseys. How does that, how does that happen <laughs> uh, during practice? Yeah, I mean, you know, things get physical. Sometimes people grab jerseys. Sometimes people get upset and just rip them. Um, you know, I have a couple rip jerseys as well. I know a dev has some. Uh, but, yeah, we're just physical guys. That, that I think that's the outcome of that. What's the uh, key to attacking Washington zone? Um, I think the key to attacking Washington zone is, any zone is, is to try to play inside out, get the ball in the middle um, in the high post area and be able to kick it out for open shots and threes and things like that. And then also being able to rebound, uh, rebound offensively and defensively. You're kind of a leader on this team, obviously. Uh, what do you say to the guys, you know, after two losses? Obviously, it's not the end of the world, it's two losses in January. But what do you say to the guys to, to get to get back on track? And have you said anything to them? Uh, I told them, I've said a lot to them, but I told them when it's hard, you know, uh, USC, they they needed to win that. And they, they got their job done. We did get ours. I told them, you know, it's... It's hard. You know, we just got to work even harder. You know, I tell them, um, you know, that's that's what happens in game basketball when you don't, you know, you don't focus. You know, the other team out tough, you know, outmans you. So we just we can't let that happen again. We got to, you know, put in our, our winning a winning effort. We can't put our best effort. We got to put winning effort in. That's what I tell them. Uh, Amari coming back. At, you know, at some point he might move back into the starting lineup. Do you like the way things have gone with you? On the bench, coming on as a six-man versus starting lineup, does it change anything the way teams are playing you? Maybe, you know, going up against starters versus backups, things like that. Or I don't, I don't really see a change in there. I just see, uh, you know, Amari. He's a great player, so I, I would love to have him in the rotation, whether he puts him starting or whatever. It's not up to me. I don't, I really don't care. As long as we win, at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. But in terms of like on the court, it really does. I don't really see a, a difference. You know. They, everyone has a schedule report on me, so. Has the fatigue been a factor in, like, you know, a little bit of a shooting slot for you because you're playing more minutes? you think that's had any kind of correlation or not really? Uh, uh, I don't, I'm not sure about shooting slot. You know, I've, I've been playing more minutes. Uh, that might have a factor, but yeah, I don't really think about that. I just, you know, I just think about the next shot that's going in. That's just the mentality you have to have to shoot it. Do you look forward to playing against the zone, like Washington's? Uh, I look forward to playing every game. So, like, you know, Washington, you know, they're they're a great team. Uh, I, know, I know a couple guys on the team. So, 
I just look forward to every game, you know, and just we have to come out with play hard. It's conference, it's conference play. So yeah, you've only got a handful of home games left. How much have you thought about that? And like you know, really kind of maximizing and enjoying these last few home games you have. Yeah, it you know it crossed my mind. I'm worried about Thursday coming up to lab. I'm worried about Thursday, but it has crossed my mind. You know, I'm like last home games of uh, my career here. So it's uh it's you know it's a happy happy sad feeling but you know i just gotta worry about that put that aside and i gotta worry about uh thursday is that about sleeping on the court before senior night uh, <laughs> uh maybe i don't know maybe we'll see and just keep yeah uh, in the half court what's the key to i guess having the most efficient uh execution uh well we've been working on that you know cutting hard uh m making the right read knowing when to pass when to shoot no, those are when no one to drive. Uh, we have to have uh, good cutters. Uh, so everything, you know, that's the key to efficient offense. You know, that's something we haven't been doing, and we have to work on.